Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today's episode, we are going to install some custom fender badges on my 2021 GMC Sierra AT4. Let's go. All right, my truck's outside. We'll need to put some shoes on. Probably winter boots, to be honest. Go outside and get the snow off of this truck. Let's make sure it starts okay. Little whiny, but it started. Oh man, it is cold. And I just broke my snow brush. This is the stuff I do to make you guys videos. Hope you appreciate it. Warm it up again and head to the car wash. We leave these up, otherwise they'll freeze to the windshield. This is super convenient. truck's inside getting all nice and toasty. This is the piece we're going to replace today. I'm going to do it two different ways. Each way is going to involve heating this up with a heat gun and then peeling it off. But I'm also going to show you if you ever wanted to like custom paint these or something like that, how to get the whole assembly off. So we'll do this one on the truck on this side, on the driver's side, and on the passenger side, I'll show you how to remove the whole thing. Okay, I've already taken this off, but I did that for a good reason. I want you to see all the clips on the back and exactly how they would connect. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The nice thing about all of these, if you have some small angled pliers, they don't need to be angled, but these ones are, you can reach in behind. So when I say in behind, you can reach right around the shock here and you can get in behind the back of this badge area. So you might be able to see my fingers pushing through those holes so I can reach them. This gives you a little more reach when you have a tool like this. But anyway, all of them can be squeezed from above and below. So what you wanna do is once it's on here, nice and tight, I started up in the top corner, undid the first clip, slid this down a bit, undid the second, slid this down, undid the third, then went to the bottom, same repetitive motion, one, two, three, that left this last one here. And then just holding my finger in the end, gave that one a gentle squeeze and it popped right out. So that's how easy it should be. Probably easier said than done. Um, I got, you know, smaller arms, so I'm able to reach in there, I'm pretty lanky. Um, but we're still going to do this replacement uh, on the truck, so you'll see that in a bit, but let's replace this one right now on the workbench, clip it back in, and then we'll do the other one. Okay, we have the badge here. We're going to heat this up with a heat gun, peel it back a little bit with this small, small flat screwdriver. This could get damaged in the process. That's okay. I'm not planning to go back to this one, but just be warned you could end up damaging this. You could just take the new badge and stick it over top of this one, but it's not going to make proper contact with the adhesive. So I'm going to peel it off. And uh, careful, you don't also scratch the little black areas surrounding this. You wouldn't want to do that because it's nice and glossy and I want to keep it that way. So I'm going to be very careful to get the edge started and then I'll use a plastic tool from there. So let's go. Okay, I think we're ready to go. As you saw, I used some Goo Gone just to get the major adhesive off. And then I used some isopropyl alcohol to make sure it was all clean so we can get best adhesion. Now the badges that I'm going to install are these ones right here. 
They are custom made. They are available from OFX2GV.com. I've also seen some on eBay. Uh, this isn't sponsored in any way, but I happened to like these when I saw them and ordered a set because I thought it fit the theme of the truck. So let's uh, apply one. Already have the adhesive on the back. This is clean as you saw. And now we just need to line it up. Easier said than done. There we go. They fit perfect. So you just want to press fit them in. And that one actually had, I'd use a little bit of force to get that to sit flush, but they fit perfect. So there you go, that's going on my truck. Now let's replace the other one. And this is metal, so it's very, very hot. But as you can see, I've got some little bends in it. You might be able to flatten that out by compressing it or sandwiching it between something. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna use them again ever, but now we gotta get that adhesive off. Okay, let's put it on. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Definitely custom. I might have to make the four on the AT4 logo white now. We'll see. Maybe the front tow hooks powder coated white. Anyway, let's, uh, let's put this one back on. Voila. You know, I think to get the full effect, we need to take a look outside. There we go, another DIY project done. I think if it's the theme of the truck with the black and the white, a little more custom, fairly easy install. You should be able to do it yourself if that's the type of thing you like to do. Also stay tuned because very soon we will be installing this uh, high quality uh, tail light strip and I'll do a full tutorial on that. But anyway, if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time. <music>